Hello everybody! I know you thought you were getting a day off from science today, but you're not. We're going to learn some important chemistry stuff today that will be on your final exam, so please pay attention carefully. We only have about six days left of actual teaching days before the final, uh, so really it's crunch time. We all got to get to work. So we should look uh, pretty familiar here with this structure of the atom, all right? So you need to know all the different parts of the atom. So on the inside here, this whole core in the middle, that is called the nucleus. All right, so the nucleus of the atom contains both the neutrons and the protons. So we need to know each of these particles and what their charge is, what their mass is, and where they are located in the atom. So you might want to draw yourself a little diagram of this atom right now because this is a structure that you need to know. So on the inside in the nucleus we have protons and neutrons. So we need to be able to say a few things about each of these. So the protons, they have a mass of one unit and a charge of positive one units. All right? And the neutrons, on the other hand, they have a mass of one unit, but a charge of zero units. So neutrons are neutral. You can kind of see the, the words neutral and neutrons are similar there. So neutrons have no charge, but they do have mass. Protons have both mass and a positive charge. And on the outside here, we have these electrons floating around here. They go around in these orbits. This is kind of an outdated model of the atom. Uh, really, they, they go around in electron clouds. But the electrons, they have a mass of zero units. So electrons actually do have a very small amount of mass, but it's so small compared to the protons and neutrons that we don't count it towards the mass of the atom. All right, so electrons count for zero mass, and they have a charge of negative one. So electrons are negative, and protons here in the middle are positive. All right, so this is the basic structure of the atom. I'm hoping this is familiar to all of us because we spent a bunch of weeks on it way back when. Uh, so just as a refresher here, and we're going to do some more stuff with the atom shortly. See you in the next video.